Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Sullivan. Um, I'm the CEO of IOTA Services. I also sit on the executive of uh, South East Water and um, uh, IOTA is the commercial arm of South East Water and we help translate some of the, um, you know, the really wonderful technology that, that South East Water builds for itself uh, and share that with the, the broader water industry. And Andrew, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Dan. Yeah, Andrew Force tonight. I'm the Acting General Manager of Customer Service Delivery at South East Water, and uh, my teams are heavily involved in all things IoT and digital metering. Great. So I mentioned earlier on in this uh, Vic Water Conference that, that South East Water is doing something quite innovative around digital metering, and uh, I, I believe that's on a global scale, having um, you know talked with a lot of uh, a lot of other uh, water utilities around the world. I don't know that many are looking at uh, their uh, their meters in the same way that, that South East Water is. So there's a really interesting story behind that around um, uh, w why we are uh, choosing to innovate um, for uh, for that particular part of our our business and um, the journey we've been on to uh, to really experiment and, and look for solutions to to some of the problems and um, Andrew Force tonight really is uh, 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 you know one of but probably one of the most important of the um, uh, architects or um, um, uh, you know experimenters in this in this journey so we're really fortunate to have him along to talk about how uh, how all of that unfolded and some of the key decisions that, that enabled um, us to get in the position we're at. Um, so, but I, I think before I um, uh, throw some questions to Andrew, um, uh, just some initial comments. It, it, it's not about the technology. This all really did start with the customer, um, and really, you know, we we've got mechanical meters out there, and we have uh, meter readers. Who walk around and, and do the uh, the read, which then finds its way into the bill. Um, but in this day and age, it's just not good enough to to provide a bill every quarter. That it only has one extra data point that you can compare with the previous um, previous bill from the last quarter. Um, we do our best to to make it look uh, analytical uh, and and smart by trying to tell you how many people should be in your house to meet the 155 litre target. But when it comes down to it, it's just one data point. And, um, you know, I think people expect more, particularly with uh, the smart electricity meters out there, to be able to um, track your uh, your water consumption is something that, that, that really should be the norm, um, particularly as uh, we are trying so hard to... Uh, educate people about the value of water and, uh, and and water conservation tactics in order to be able to monitor how your activities are translating into conservation. Um, we really think it's important to give them that data. But how do you pay for that? Um, because the customers won't pay for that and we can't charge our customers. So we needed to find ways to... Um, to drive operational efficiency out of our digital metering program. Um, that all needed to stack up in a business case so that we could roll out, you know, the 850,000 metres to, um, to our network, uh, as well as building back-end systems to manage um, the increased amount of data and, and then an analytical platform to, to enable us to, to derive insights out of that data. So after a lot of experimenting and pivoting and um, talking with the industry globally, um, we're now in a really solid position where we have a, a, a net present value positive business case to roll out digital meters. And um, we're moving uh, out of POC and, and rolling out um, meters at scale. And we expect to have 20,000 out by the end of the year. Um, but we've, uh, we've also made some really interesting decisions along the way.